Hi everyone and welcome back to English Without Borders. I'm Kayla, your English coach, and today we are going to be working on a bit of pronunciation. I'm excited for this video because these are two sounds that a lot of non-native English speakers struggle to differentiate between, especially at the beginning of learning the English language. So today we are going to do some exercises that can help you distinguish between these two sounds in an easy and effective way. So let's get started. The two sounds we're going to be working on today are the P and the B. Now these sounds are essentially the same in regards to what we do with our lips and the air coming out of our mouths. The only difference is that the P is a voiceless sound and that the B is a voiced sound. So what does that mean? This has to do with your vocal cords, okay? A voiceless sound is a sound that has no movement. It requires no movement of the vocal cords when you are speaking it and a voice sound is one that does vibrate the vocal cords and you can feel that vibration in your throat. And this P in American English sounds aspirated when it is at the beginning of a word or at the beginning of a stressed syllable, okay? So it's as if there were a tiny H that comes after the P. For example, in practice or purple or pay, you can feel that it's almost like there's a small H that comes after it. Now, something important to understand or to recognize is that the P, when we make that p, p, p sound, there's no vibration in your vocal cords, okay? So, p, 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 there's no vibration coming from my throat, all right? Make sure you put your fingers here to feel that there is no vibration. If you do feel a vibration, you are probably making the B sound, okay? For example, when you look at my lips, when I say a minimal pair, with the words or with the letters P and B, for example, pay and bay, pay and bay, my lips, when I say the P and the B, they look the exact same, but the difference is this vibration in my vocal cords, okay? Now, if you are having trouble doing this, going from this voiceless P to the voiced B, practice with a different sound, maybe one that you are more familiar with. You could try, for example, going from the S to the Z. So try transitioning from that S to the Z sound, okay? S, 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 and feel the difference in your throat. It's the same thing that we want to do with the P and the B. P, P, B, P, B. So this exercise can help you figure out how to go from the voiceless sound to the voiced sound. However, if you have the opposite problem of not being able to go very easily from the voiced sound to the voiceless sound, in this case, from the B to the P, you can't recognize that transition, then here's what you can do. If you actually try to whisper a word that has the B in it, you'll find that when you're whispering, you can't distinctly make these vibrations in your throat. And the sound that will actually come out will be more like a P. So if you cannot find this P sound, if it is difficult for you, if you're struggling, do this. For example, let's try the word bat. If I say the word bat, bat, I feel at the beginning that vibration. Now if I whisper the word and I say bat, 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 it doesn't come out, right? And I can feel, okay, that's the difference. My voice, my vocal cords cannot vibrate when I make this sound. So, bat, bat, bat. And that's what you want to make that same sort of motion with your lips, but this time not moving your vocal cords. So you can start by practicing with whispering the very beginning of a word that starts with a P so that that B does not come out because you cannot voice it if you're whispering. And then raise your voice again for the end of the word. For example, purple, practice. Okay, purple, 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 purple. And you can practice that way. Another thing I want you guys to do is practice a few minimal pairs to identify which of these words or which of these sounds is more difficult for you. 
So here are some examples of minimal pairs that you can practice right now to differentiate between your B's and your P's. By pi, B, P, bin, pin, bat, pat. Now I want you to also try and switch the order of them. Okay, so instead of saying the B word first and the P word after, try to switch the order, flip-flop them, and see how that works. Pi, by, P, B, pin, bin, pat, bet. Okay, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope this has helped you better differentiate between the P and the B sounds in English. And if you have any struggles or problems with the pronunciation of other words that have P's or B's in them, go ahead and comment those words below so that I can help coach you through how to better pronounce those words. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching and happy learning.